All right, so we have another Matthew and Sons in for review today. He actually gave this piece, but he has absolutely no say in what I say about the watch. And for everyone that has been a part of my channel knows that I will speak the truth regardless of whether the watch has been gifted or not. So this one here is Matthew and Sons, the pilot watch called the Blue Aquila. Now, a lot of you know that one of my favorite watches of my collection is the Matthew and Sons Era Kanji, their diver version. And Matthew and Sons has a very unique way of playing with illusion because this watch here actually looks smaller than it actually is. Uh, and that's because of the way they do the case. The case is actually thicker on the bottom than it is on the top. And playing with the bezel, you can see that this actually looks like a 38, maybe 39 millimeter case. But indeed, what we're looking at here is Look at that, a 42 millimeter. Now, Matthew and Sons is back at it again with their illusions because with this particular watch, which from afar, you could see, or even up close, I should say, you can see that there is definitely inspiration of, from IWC, especially the way they do their handset. Now, the reason why I say illusion here is because look at the way that the numbers are kind of squeezed more towards the center of the dial making room for those indices and that's going to give you more of an illusion of a smaller dial and i like that they do that and we're going to just take a quick measurement here and we're also looking at here this one is going to be a 40 millimeter dial so or should i say case size and not a bad case size because this will fit a majority of wrists, especially when you look at the 47 millimeter lug to lug and you look at the 11 millimeters in thickness. We also get a 20 millimeter lug width. Now this blue dial is absolutely stunning. Um, it is a sunburst dial and it is a true blue for sure. On the wrist, this thing is very comfortable and it wears well. Those white hands and the white indices and numerals definitely are a nice stark contrast to helping you and assisting uh, in regards to looking at the time at a glance. Um, very readable look to this watch. I do like the bracelet, it's all fully brushed, true milled, and indeed we have many, many micro adjusts. We have six micro adjusts here, which is more than you need. And I like that. Uh, MAS is stamped on the clasp and we get some polishing on the sides, as you can see there. And we get some contrast brushing on the top and we get some brushing even on this bezel here, which I actually like. Uh, usually when you highly polish the bezel, that, that is the first to show those scratch marks. I didn't take the protective off the uh, crown yet. I do like, I just wish that companies would just leave it blue, put a blue, you know, cabochon or something on there, some type of jewel. Um, it really um, adds a nice touch, but I do love the fact that they put a uh, nice onion sized crown on there. And it is indeed a screw down crown, fully automatic. They are using the 9039 high beat automatic movement. There's the winding action right there. Case back is also the star of the show. Check this out. Look at that. This is indeed a beautiful wedge tailed eagle case back. All right, and it does give you some information. Screw down, which is also very, very good upgrade uh, when it comes to automatic watches, helps with water resistance, helps to uh, compress that gasket nice and evenly as opposed to a, a press case back uh, or even a screwed case back, you know, with the screw individual screws. So glad they went with that. 
Uh, we do get solid, solid stainless steel all throughout. Um, we actually do get a bit of a taper as well, it looks like, on this bracelet. Because we're going to get 20 up here, and then down here we're going to get... Um, Eh, like an 18, almost 19 millimeter. Not much of a taper, but we do get a taper nevertheless. Oh, there we go. That's more of a true taper. There we go. 17.7475. So glad we get a taper there. Um, this, this definitely helps with just making it look more high end. And uh, I just like that look. So there it is again on the wrist. Seven, in, seven inch wrist and fits absolutely perfectly i think it's just a sweet spot for those with smaller wrist bigger wrist and as you can see it comes with extra links as you see here um plenty of extra links there and of course they give you their travel pouch which can fit more than one watch so you can fit one two three four watches in here i put my links in here so i don't lose them and then you just fold it back up and you're ready to go so very very nice there and of course you get the mas patch right there so i'd love to hear your thoughts down below on this new piece this is indeed limited to 50 units per color they do have some pretty fun colors as well not as fun as the irakanji colors but they do have some different ones that you should check out as well. I went with the more traditional blue, and uh, yeah, I think it looks awesome. So there you go, guys. That's my two cents. You can keep the change. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Average Joe Watch Reviews. God bless, my friends.